All right, what's up, guys? So this video, it's gonna be a really quick video, just showing some general maintenance that you'd want to do to your lawnmower on an annual basis. So what we're gonna be doing today is changing the oil, sharpening the blades. Now you can sharpen the blades more than annually, but we're gonna do that today. We're also gonna inspect and blow out the the air filter. All right, let's get started. This lawnmower needs between 12 and 14 ounces, but if you don't have a manual for your lawnmower and you can't find one, you can just add some oil, check the dipstick, add some more, check it again, and do that until you get where you need to be. So I did check the manual. You do simply pour the oil out at the same place you put it in. Some lawnmowers have a drain plug on the bottom. This is not one of them. this thing up some. All right guys, so this seemed to have all drained out, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this because I can come right around here and get the blades off. That's right, this lawnmower has two blades most have one. And to be honest, I'm not sure it really does a whole lot to have two, but it does. But guys, I'm actually going to take a picture just to make sure when I'm putting this back together, it goes back exactly like this. I'm going to use an impact to remove it. Now, if you don't have an impact, you would have to get a, like a thick glove and try to torque it. I see some guys maybe put a two by four in here so it doesn't turn as you're trying to torque it. But if you have an impact, it just it just uh, rattles them off, no problem. Guys, and you already know, Harbor Freight. And as you can see, it can be kind of Difficult to know which it was this. So I actually already kind of forgot. So that's why I took the picture. All right, guys. So to sharpen this, I'm gonna be using one of these. I forget exactly what it's called, but basically you put this in the drill, and you can be extremely low skilled and still get this thing sharpened. It also comes with this little balancer to so you can know that your blade is still balanced and if you maybe need to take a little bit more off of one side or the other this isn't the best sharpener in the world but it definitely will get the job done and it is cheap and i'll put a link in the description i did get it off amazon so let's go with the first one so you you have this somewhat sharp side over here and this is uh I believe it's a, about a 45 degree angle and then this is just flat this side is it's not really sharpened from that side so this goes on here like this and it'll just sharpen as it spins so let's get going so I'll just use a regular drill not sponsored but I like saving money so another Harbor Freight tool. So it's just saying counterclockwise. Now most of the cutting, from what I understand, is done near the edge. But you know, we're gonna try to sharpen the whole thing up. Right. A pair of glasses is a good idea. I'm gonna go with that. Oh yeah, very sharp. It's not razor, but I mean, if I slot my finger here, 
I will definitely get cut. Kind of like a, maybe like a kitchen knife. Let's see if I can get you guys a close up on this. You see, we still have a chip here, but I don't want to take off so much to get that chip out. So this is good enough. Like I said, most of the cutting happens right out here on the edge. You know, I think I will turn, turn it around so I can do just a hair of grinding on this side. So let's do this. Using an impact, always start it by hand. And it would even be safer to not use the impact at all for retightening, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. The oil is so light, it's kind of hard to see where it's actually at, but according to the little graphic, we definitely look good. So this 12 ounces is going to be just fine. So, got quite a bit of grass and stuff in here. I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to get my air compressor started build up some uh, air and then we'll blow this out gonna take this air filter out and look like it's been doing its job it's nice and clean back here now you could just buy a new one and not worry how, about cleaning this one but i'm gonna blow this one out and use it again and maybe next year go for uh, another one maybe even later this year but we'll see all right, guys, I, I just blew this all out and uh, just realized that I forgot to hit record uh, while I was doing it. But not a big deal. Just using compressed air to blow this out. That's all that was. Get it in. All right, so that's all it is. So really quick. I did want to take a moment to talk about this valve right here. Now on this lawnmower, this is a valve that shuts off the fuel supply to the carburetor. So this line here goes to the fuel tank and then it goes there onto the carburetor. So what you want to do at the end of your season is go ahead and shut the valve off and run the lawnmower until it runs out of gas. That way you don't have fuel sitting in your carburetor all winter long and messing stuff up. So one thing that I do, uh, we have fuel that has no ethanol on it. Not all gas stations have it, but some of them do around here. So I always use the no ethanol in all of my small engines. And I make sure I don't sit with fuel in the carburetor uh, all year long. So, go ahead and open this back up. And this thing should be ready, ready to run. And treating your lawnmower like this, you would get a lot of years out of it and you would get your money's worth.